Okay, on this video, we're gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna be working on a Ford V8. This is a 1985 F-150, and it's got the uh, 302. And the symptoms this truck is having is that uh, it'll it'll start start perfectly, run run good, up until it he heats up, and uh, it'll start stalling out up to a point where it will not start until it cools off. What that is, is it's this module right here that gets hot. And these V8s with the module right here are notorious for that, with that problem. And that is actually, to my understanding, that's a recall. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead, we're gonna go ahead and fix the solution. It's not gonna be a permanent fix, but we're gonna go ahead and make a kit to have in your glove box just in case that ever happens to you. So let's go ahead. Uh, you gotta remove the negative battery terminal, which I've already did. Then you got to remove the clamp that goes here. I went ahead and put a hose clamp because, uh, as you can see, it's broken. Now you're going to remove it. Okay. Now let's let's see. Let's go ahead and take a look at the parts that I that I purchased from O'Reilly's, and I purchased them from O'Reilly's because they had the best uh, warranty for the best price on the product. Now this is a Master Pro. It was $40 uh, ICM module. Uh, limited lifetime warranty. You want to save the receipt, you actually want to make a copy of it. You're going to need this tool which costed uh, around six dollars. Let me go ahead and put this down. Okay, this one, I suggest you buy it so that you could go ahead and put it in the kit that you're gonna use in your glove box that you're gonna put. Okay, now with that, you're gonna remove these bolts, which they might be a little bit hard. Let me, let me go ahead and put this down again. Yeah, that this is this is really 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 stuck on there. Okay. Okay, so I removed I, I removed the module. Um, if you need help uh, torquing it, this is a, a 13 millimeter wrench that could help you torque it. Um, what I have here is from Radio Shack some heat sink compound, which I'm going to rub back here, and uh, to go inside to go when it goes back in. I had to move the distributor. I had to turn it. A little bit but make sure you have all your markings to remember where it's at I did lose the original compounds but I do have the heat shrink the, the heat heat sink that I will use let me go ahead and sit this right here It was it was five ninety nine at Radio Shack. Okay. So this is a heat sink solution, and you want to cover it and just spread it spread it as much as you can. You might even have to take some. Yeah, I'm gonna have to take some off. But, uh,
I don't know where to. I have an old rag down here. Yuck. Oh, sorry about that. Okay. Okay, now let's install it. You get it? And you just simply uh, fit it at the bottom and go ahead and Okay, so I made my kit, and this is how it looks. I'm gonna put it, go ahead and put it in this box, and it's a baggie. Let's we'll see what's in here. Just in case this ever happens on the road when I'm on my way to Amarillo, uh, which is a few hours from here. Okay, I'm gonna keep, go ahead and keep this uh, wrench. You might want to also carry a 13 inch wrench as well. You will need this. I had this laying around the garage, half inch. This is so you could, re you could uh, remove the uh, distributor uh, bolt to loosen it. So you could move. You're going to want your old module. So at least you could make it to, you know, a safe place, at least to a gas station. And this, this is a uh, heat sink compound from, that I got from Radio Shack. And I also recommend you have some sort of pencil, some sort of marker, so you could mark the distributor, uh, the timing. And. Uh, I'm going to make another video on replacing the distributor stator pickup coil and uh, I'm also going to make another video on the ignition switch. Uh, safety items, all you need is a pair of pliers and maybe a screwdriver.